As discussed in the previous podcast, we can combine together the two equations derived from the geometry of a velocity time graph to derive two further equations to cover aspects of uniform acceleration motion. We have two equations. One has displacement missing from it, but includes initial and final velocity, acceleration and time. The other contains displacement, time and initial and final velocities, but excludes acceleration. What is required now is an equation that does not contain final velocity and an equation that does not include time and we'll have all the equations we need to describe all aspects of uniform acceleration motion. Firstly, we combine together our two equations by multiplying them. We have an equation for acceleration and an equation for displacement, so we will now have an e equation for displacement multiplied by acceleration, AS. The other side of the equation is a little more complicated. We have final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taken, all multiplied by initial velocity plus final velocity, all divided by 2. The times cancel to give us final minus initial velocity in one set of brackets, multiplied by the average of initial and final velocity in the other. We multiply both sides by 2 to remove the averaging from one side. We then multiply together the brackets and gather the terms together to give us final velocity squared minus initial velocity squared. You simply rearrange this equation to put it into its standard form of final velocity squared equals initial velocity squared plus twice the acceleration multiplied by displacement. This equation does not contain time taken. The final equation replaces the final velocity term in the equation displacement equals the average of velocities times time equation with our expression for final velocity as the initial velocity plus the acceleration times time. Combining these two equations and rearranging them gives us a formula for displacement of being equal to the initial velocity multiplied by the time taken plus half the acceleration multiplied by the time taken squared. This equation omits final velocity. It should be noted that you can swap the velocities in this equation to give an equation, an equation without initial velocity as long as you change the sign from plus to minus as well.